Hello everybody, let's talk transitions. Since version 1.2, Tailwind CSS supports transition utilities which allow you to achieve smooth user interactions and bring a bit of delight to your designs. The first thing we'll look at is the transition property utilities. Tailwind lets you specify which CSS properties you'd like to apply transitions to. Say for example you want to scope out transition to opacity or colors or maybe only animate the transform properties, you can achieve that with the transition opacity, transition colors, or transition transform classes. Tailwind also offers a useful base transition utility, which will only allow transitions on properties which are browser performant. It will transition colors, opacity, box shadows, and transform properties. This lets us combine what the three other squares are doing all at once. Let's change that transition class to transition transform and now you can see that only the transform property has a transition. If I set it to transition opacity, the square will now jump to its final position and color, but the opacity will transition smoothly. Next up, we can specify the duration of our transitions. We have four elements here and as you can see, we have defined different duration utilities for each. 200 milliseconds, 300 milliseconds, 500 milliseconds, and 1 second. Let's see these transition durations in action. You can see the first square travels across over 200 milliseconds, while the last one takes one full second. You can pick from these set of durations, and of course, these can be customized to your needs in the config file under the transition duration key. Let's look at timing functions next. These let you control the easing curve or speed curve of transitions. Again, I have four elements and each has a different ease utility class applied. The ease linear class will apply a linear easing curve. The element will travel at a constant speed with no acceleration or deceleration. Since objects rarely move like this in the real physical world, this tends to feel a little odd. Ease in will progressively accelerate but come to a hard stop. Ease out will do the exact opposite, start at full speed and put on the brakes before reaching the destination. Finally, Ease in out will have a smooth ride with progressive and degressive speed changes. Additional transition utilities were added in version 1.3 which allow you to apply delays to transitions. Once again, we'll compare four elements which all receive different delay values. No delay, 100, 200 and 300 milliseconds. Let's look at our visual example and as I hover in, you can see the staggered delays. Let's increase the gaps in the delay a little bit with 200, 500 and 1000 milliseconds. Pew, 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 pew. Nice!